I got, I got, I got. What's up? Oh, I forgot to do an intro as usual, but it's okay. So today I was supposed to play Batman. Might still do it, but um, I ended up making a video about my favorite soccer team and how I think we should approach the transfer market, how we should buy new players and who we should buy and our targets because <laughs> yeah yeah but that's whatever yep this is the intro so so you I've been thinking and it's been going in my head uh, about um, Manchester United I think that they are doing everything wrong right now they have Ronaldo Bruno Marcus Rashford Sancho all of them and still are able to um, produce a win change their manager um, it's a lot that should be done but they don't do it so with the back line I think that we need a faster no we have Iran but Iran is kind of still mm. so I think that we should get Harry Maguire out of there as quick as possible because he's just too slow, can't keep up. He's not a good captain at all, in my opinion. So with our back line, Juan Saka, he's fast enough. He just doesn't go up the field. So instead of trying to make him go up the field, just have him stay back. Juan Saka, Veron, and then a left-footed center back. That's what we need in order to distribute to Shaw or Alex Tevez. I think Alex Tevez plays better than Luke Shaw, honestly midfield i think that we should this pains me to say but we need to sell pogba i'm editing this back and i'm actually thinking we don't really need to sell pogba we just have to figure out what to do with him i'm not really against pogba i just think that if we're going to use him we have to use him in a way that one people won't expect and two we can actually use him because we haven't been using him. I know he's been injured, but there's just certain things that I'm kind of trying to understand when we have Pogba, but that's just me. So I could be wrong. I need to figure out how Bruno and Ronaldo can work together because it was the same problem with Ronaldo and Dybala, same thing with Dybala and Messi. And so we got to figure out how them two can work together if we need them to like have Ronaldo stay forward, have Bruno do most of the work. What position will we play though? Um, I think the best position that works is a 4-1-2-1-2, 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. So, Juan Bisaka, Baran, um, center back, we'll look at those. Um, hmm. Alex Tellis is he's able to create. So if he can create, if Alex Tellis can create and push up the field, that leaves Juan Bisaka. He could stay back if he wanted to. And then you have McTominay, who can play by himself. We don't need Matic, please just make him a coach or whatever because he's just too slow for me. He's too slow and he's not fast enough and he gives up stupid challenges and all this, just no. Um, McTominay, not Fred, he's, he's not able to do that. So you can push Fred out. You can have Van de Beek, Bruno. We still need to buy a center mid because our center mids are well. Or you could just put Fred out there. Ronaldo on this side. Rashford or Greenwood. But then you don't have Sancho. Well, you could switch them out whenever, but yeah, them three is just really hard because the position that we wanted them to play, they're not playing. We got Sancho playing left wing, doesn't play left wing. We got Rashford, who plays striker. You have Greenwood, who is a better striker than right mid. So it's kind of... Mm. Then you have Cavani, who should be playing over the youngsters. Don't know why he's not, but they say they need him in the team, so I, I don't know. But we're going to look at a few players that I think would be good in our team. So there's a few people 
and I looked at, I don't want to like look up too many people, but for the center back, um, I was thinking maybe Alessandro Bastoni, uh, what is this, European champion, uh, I want to see his other stats, I think he would be really good because, how old is he? He's 22, okay, he's 22. I think he would be really good. I watched him play a few times, but other than that, he didn't look too bad. And I think he's fast enough. I don't know how he's going to do in the Prem, though. So we'll have to see. Next is Pau Torres. We were looking at him before when I think it was 2020, and then we ended up buying Varan instead of him. I think we should have bought both of them. Um, he was really good when he played us. <laughs> In the Europa League, when you put it past him, six appearances, no assists, no nothing. But I bet you, I bet you won his um his stats for defending. I wish they would show you that stats. I bet you he's gonna be rumored to admit. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna pronounce his last name, but Musa, how old is he? He's 25. Oh, he's old. Mm. Next is uh Tyrone Mings. I personally like Tyrone Mings. Um. How everybody else feels about him, but I, I appreciate his his work. Sometimes, other times, he's really like, man, what are you doing? He was linked to Arsenal. Uh, Chelsea wanted him. Arsenal wanted him. Arsenal still want him. Well, I don't know. It just depends on how his season does this year. I don't know how well he's doing. Okay, so now this is very interesting. Kimpembe, his World Cup winner. He's left-footed. I didn't even know Kimpembe was left-footed stats all seasons so Kompembe 210 games 2 goals 2 assists yeah I I would really like Kompembe Kompembe and Ron they work together super well and they won the World Cup together so chemistry so I expect I would like to have Kompembe and then this guy um I think he's he's rumored to leave how do I feel about him? I would like him. I just never really see him play. He also plays center defensive mid. Okay. Played it seven times. Seven times, so it's not that big. And then Courtney Hayes, or Howes. Courtney Howes. He also plays in Austin. At Aston Villa. Jesus. Or is it Aston Villa? How old is he? 26. Mmm. Out of them two. Or out of the people that I chose, my top three are Mpembe, Bastoni, uh, Diallo. It was either Diallo or Pau Torres, but my three that I think we should attack, Mpembe, if they're selling him. We don't know that, but if not, it would be Diallo, Pau Torres, and um, Bastoni. Bastoni is really young, so I mean, can't pass that up. The center mids, we need a center mid badly. All right, first is Declan Rice. This man is worth 82. This man is not worth 82. 82.5 million. Is he worth it? Maybe. <laughs> but dang. All right, Declan Rice, 22. Oh, he's 22. Yes, he's 52 mil. Hmm. 25. What will he bring to the team is the question. Like, will, will he be needed as a defensive mid or a center mid, box to box? Mm, this man, 82 mil, worth it maybe. He's rumored to Chelsea, oh no. I would really like him because he's just young, fast, and 18. Would he start? I hope so. He needs a little plan. Uh, so with him, I think he would be a good choice too. Maybe because of the way that he plays too. He plays box to box. Renato, that's something that I just want. I just like him as a player, and the way that he plays at Portugal is amazing. I just don't know if he'll do that at Manchester United, but he is surrounded by Bruno and um, Ronaldo. But them two aren't even playing well together, but they played well together in their Euros, sort of. But Ronaldo would be very good, very good. And his price is 33 mil. It's not that bad. Well, Marcus Lorente, oh, this man has a lot of hype doesn't he? Would I want him? Yeah. Will we need him? Probably not. Milinkovic Savage. Mm, how would he do in our play? I think he would be amazing in Tottenham. He could. He probably would go to Tottenham. He worth 77 mil? No. <laughs> in Kunku, I would love this man, bro. 60 mil, have it, bro. 
have it just take it i don't think i really don't think leipzig would sell him especially now this man is amazing and i don't know what kind of team they're building but they did have a lot of youngsters of Makano got sold though his contract is up in uh, contract until 2024 it's probably a smart idea to look at the contracts too 24 22 24 23 27 never mind they're not telling him so he's out 26 mm. 25 we could buy him I, I think he has a clause probably but and then this 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 is just a this is an idea that probably could work because he's a dark horse carlos carlos solar so solar soiler 15 appearances seven goals two assists three yellows 25 mm. let me pick these let me pick these um one two bellingham two this one is hard brella and i just said this malika Bay savage or renato sanchez that's what i'm thinking i know i know i know what you're thinking i forgot about carlos well I still think Carlos would be a good idea. I just, I don't know if I wasn't thinking about him when I was doing the list, but I think he's the best choice for us, him or Renato Sanchez. So that's my thought. Because I really like Renato Sanchez. He would work well with us. But just the way that, it, I don't know, 33 mil. And look at this savage, 77 mil. Dude, 80 mil. Hopefully we win our next game. We don't have to worry about a lot. Leave what you think in the comments and like and subscribe if you want to. It's up to you. Um, this wasn't the video I was thinking about making, but it's okay. We'll probably make another one today as well. Uh, depends on how I'm feeling. Hey, hey, that's cap! That's cap! That's cap! That's cap! That's cap! That's cap! Yeah. See you.